Hi, I'm Carice from Schofield Farm and we live in Northern California, Zone 9B, where we can garden and grow food year round. We have seven kids. We have a golden doodle puppy. We have bees, we have chickens. We kind of have two geese that adopted us four and a half years ago when we first bought our property. And today I want to talk to you about why it is so important to mulch in the garden. Right now, I am up in Lassen National Park. We are hunting for Christmas trees. And I was noticing the forest floor and I wanna share with you what the forest floor looks like and add a couple thoughts I have about it and how it relates to our gardens. See how beautiful it is up here? It is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I'm in a little clearing and we love that we live so close to the mountains. It is really a treat. Often when we come up to Lassen, there is snow. Now this year there is not snow, but often it's like our trip to the snow without having to deal with the mess of snow at our house. Now right here, I'm just looking at part of the forest floor and I wanna show you the entire forest floor, whether you're under the trees or in a clearing is mulched. That's how nature does it. Nature likes to cover the soil because this protects the soil. It keeps in moisture. It actually breaks down to feed the soil. These are pine needles. If I pull them back, you will find the nicest, loosest, richest soil right here, just waiting to grow something. And this is what we want to emulate in our gardens. I mean, who doesn't want to have soil like this? This is light, it's fluffy, it's a beautiful color. This is what we're going for. And so this is why we don't leave our soil bare. In your garden reduces water loss. It protects your garden from extreme temperatures, whether that's hot or cold. It also protects your garden from weeds. It suppresses weeds and it feeds the soil as it breaks down and adds to the soil biology. This is what we're going for and this, this is priceless guys. This is what we want to grow our food in. The soil is modest. It likes to be covered. Now we choose to mulch our garden with wood chips. I know some people use straw, I've known other people who've used like the pine bedding that you would buy for animals like chickens. And we just get the wood chips from the arborists and PG&E crews and those kind of things that are taking down trees and chipping them. Usually in our area, they're pine or oak. And we let them age. We have a couple piles of them, let them age for at least six months. And then we use those to cover our garden we do them under our fruit trees. We do them under our ornamentals, our just our pretty landscaping. They are so good. And we live in such a dry climate that the water retention is a huge plus and a huge motivation for using wood chips as a mulch in our garden. Now I wanna say since it's fall and so many people do not garden year round like we do, maybe you let your garden beds rest, the one thing you want to make sure to do before winter is to put down some sort of mulch and covering because otherwise you're gonna go out to start your garden in the spring and it is going to be overcome with weeds that birds and such dropped in their droppings and they take root in your garden. So if I were you, if I did nothing else to prepare for winter, I would mulch the garden with wood chips or straw or something, you could do pine needles, just like right here. I've, I have some friends who they mulch with pine needles and that's a perfect option. There's lots of ways you can do it. It doesn't have to be costly. It doesn't have to be what other people do, something that's easy for you to get. Now we have signed up with a company online called Chip Drop and we just put our name in. You have an option of leaving a tip or just getting the wood chips for free. You have the option of getting logs you could use for firewood. But the nice thing about this service is they actually let different arborists know that are in your area that you are wanting a drop. And for us, we got some really good drops. It was very helpful and it's lasted us years. We've been able to share our wood chips with others too. 
Anyways, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you while I was out in the forest and just thinking about how wonderful it feels to walk on the forest floor, how it's not compressed, but it's nice and it's fluffy and spongy. Let's learn a lesson from the forest and let's copy that in our garden and have it be rich and fertile and things grow and thrive. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.